Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see the difference between the light microscope and the electron microscope. Uh, there are nearly 33 differences between the light microscope and the electron microscope. And in this video, we are going to see the differences one by one. Uh, before going to the differences, uh, this is the image of the light microscope. And this is the image of the scanning electron microscope. And this is the image of transmission electron microscope. And regarding the differences, the first, the light microscope was invented by Zucaria Janssen in the year 1590. And the electron microscope was invented by the scientist Ernest Ruska and Max Kohn in the year 1931. The light microscope is also known as optical microscope. And the electron microscope is also known as the beam microscope. Uh, the image in the light microscope is formed by the absorption of the light waves and the image in the electron microscope is formed by the scattering or transmission of the electrons. If the image is formed by scattering means that electron microscope is referred as the scanning electron microscope and if the image is formed by the transmission of electron means that microscope is called as transmission electron microscope. The size of the light microscope is compact and handling is handy. Next for electron microscope, the size is large and the handling is very complicated. Next, the major types of the light microscope are uh, bright field microscope, dark field microscope, phase contrast microscope, fluorescence microscope, confocal microscope, polarized microscope, and differential interference confocal microscope. And the major types of electron microscopes are the scanning electron microscope or SEM and the transmission electron microscope or TEM. The high practical magnification of the light microscope is 4000 Hz and the high practical magnification of the electron microscope is about 10 lakh X. The best resolution of the light microscope is 0.2 micrometer and the best resolution of the electron microscope is 0.5 nanometer. Uh, in the light microscope, the illuminating source is a visible light with the wavelength of 450 to 750 nanometer. And in electron microscope, the illuminating source is a electron beam with the wavelength of 0.5 Armstrong unit. The filaments are not used in the light microscope and the tungsten filament is used in the electron microscope. Uh, the light microscope uh, lenses or the eyepiece or ocular lens, objective lens and condenser lens. These three types of lens are present in the light microscope. First one is the eyepiece or ocular lens. Second one is objective lens and the third one is condenser lens. And in electron microscope, the lens used are the condenser lens, objective lens, and the projector lens. In light microscope, glass lens is present. And in electron microscope, electromagnetic lens is present. In light microscope, there is no need for high voltage electricity. But in electron microscope, it needs high voltage electricity that is uh, above 50,000 volts for focusing the objects. In light microscope, vacuum not required for the light microscope, but in electron microscope, it requires high vacuum. Specimen preparation is simple for light microscope, but for electron microscope, specimen preparation is complex. The specimen of 5 micrometer thick can be easily visualized under the light microscope, but in electron microscope, only the thin specimens up to 0.1 micrometer can be visualized. The duration for specimen preparation for the light microscope is very few minutes to few hours, but the duration for the specimen preparation for the electron microscope is several days. Next to the light microscope, the specimen mount is glass line, and in electron microscope, the specimen mount is metal grid, usually the copper. In light microscope, there is no need to dehydrate the specimens. 
but in electron microscopes only dehydrated specimens are used. Under light microscope, uh, both living and fixed specimens can be studied, but in the electron microscope, only the fixed specimens are studied. Cooling system is present in the light microscope and absent in the electron microscope. For focusing mechanism, the lens in the light microscope should be adjusted mechanically. And for electron microscope, for focusing mechanism, the current should be adjusted to the magnetic lens. In light microscope, magnification power is low and the detailed structure cannot be studied. In electron microscope, the magnification power is high and it gives the three-dimensional structure of an object. The image obtained in the light microscope is colored due to the presence of various strains uh, for focusing the specimens in the light microscope. Usually we will use the stains. So the image obtained in the light microscope is colored, but the image obtained in the electron microscope is black and white only, colorless. The light microscope is used to study the detailed gross internal structure of the various uh, cells. But the electron microscope is used to study the external surfaces, ultra structure of the cell and very small organisms. In light microscope, for contrast of the image, a specimen is trained with various dyes like acidic dyes, uh, basic dyes or neutral dyes. For electron microscope, for the contrast of the images, the specimen is coated with the various uh, heavy metals. Under light microscope, image is seen by a naked eye through the ocular lens or the eyepiece. In electron microscope, image is uh, received on the zinc sulfate fluorescent screen or the photographic plate. The light microscope is easy to operate, uh, but the electron microscope requires uh, a technically skilled person to operate, so it is not easy to operate. The radiation leakage is absent in the light microscope and it is that is the radiation leakage is present in the electron microscope. The light microscope does not require the room settings, but the electron microscope requires room uh, where the humidity, uh, pressure and the temperature are controlled. Next is uh, advantages and disadvantages of the light microscope. Uh, the light microscope have uh, four advantages. The first one is easy to use. Second one is low cost. Third one is the live specimens are studied by using the light microscope. And the fourth advantage is it shows the true colors, but sometimes it requires the various strains. Regarding the disadvantages, it has uh, three disadvantages. First one is the resolution is low due to the shorter wavelength of light, that is the 0.2 nanometer. And its magnification is low and the specimen used is Thing. That's all about the advantages and disadvantages of the light microscope. Uh, next is the advantages and disadvantages of uh, electron microscope. It have uh, four advantages and uh, four disadvantages. First, the advantages. Uh, resolution is high. It provides detailed image of uh, surface structures and the interior structures. Magnification is high and it shows the three-dimensional image of the object. Regarding the disadvantages, it is expensive and too cost. And next, it requires the extensive training and the trained skilled persons. And here the sample must be dead, but in light microscope, we will visualize, the, visualize both live and dead specimens. And the final disadvantage is that it shows the black and white or false colored image. And that's the disadvantages, but in light microscope, uh, we will observe the colorful images by using the various strains. That's all about the difference between uh, the light microscope and the electron microscope. Thank you for listening and thank you for the support. Thank you.